Hi, I'm Ali Becker, creator of Kale Christian Fitness. Super excited to have you here today for this very short core strengthening workout flow that I think is really just gonna bless your body, leave you feeling energized, but strong and also refreshed. This is just one example of the type of workouts that you can find in our locals community this month. This is a new platform that we are really excited about, a place to create an intimate community, even though we're distanced, doesn't mean that we have to be distant. And that kind of relational accountability and honesty is just really a recipe for restoration, healing, success, and growth in Christ. If you are new to Keola, welcome. I hope you love this workout. You're gonna see that we don't just build you in body, but this Christian great alternative to mat-based movement and yoga is going to ground you in Christ, help build your value, your identity, your knowledge and understanding and faith in the word, in Jesus. Grab your mat, it is all that you will need today and join us for this short workout. I hope you love it. We are gonna start immediately firing up your core. So I want you to find that Mount Zion leg through the spine. You're gonna start bringing one knee up and then the other. You can place your hands there just to try to make it as a target. And let's just find that posture as you're here. Explain that Mount Zion posture for those of you who are new and have never watched any of the Keola videos. That Mount Zion posture is really grounded, finding length from the ground, zipping up all the way into the pelvis. Your lower core is strong and your pelvis is in neutral. So I don't want your booty pooching out. Don't want it tucking way under. It's just a really tight core, tight place of neutral for that pelvis. You are continuing that length all the way from the base of the spine through to the crown of your head. And I want you to feel as if you have a ponytail or a top knot that I am lifting up and gently back towards the wall behind you so that your chin is staying parallel with the ground, but that head is pulling back. So if you find your chin coming forward like that text neck and hunch shoulders, you're pressing it back. Your shoulders are also lengthening out to the sides. You can even pull your hands out this way and pull them out to feel that length and then drop them nicely to continue and keep that length as you allow the shoulders to just kind of gently fall down the back like a waterfall. You should feel your heart rate climbing already because we're moving those muscles and you are challenging your core. We're gonna do two more like this, making sure both sides are even. Then we're gonna fully ground those feet into actual Mount Zion position. So rocking back and forth on the feet. Let's really just even wake those ankles up, coming forward under the toes, rocking back onto the heels. If this is a balance challenge for you, you can grab a wall. You can also do one at a time, heel and then toe one at a time. But just, again, waking up those ankles, keeping that long Zion posture. One more, good. Now dropping, grounding, all four corners of the feet, lifting the toes, dropping them one at a time, starting with that baby toe, making those toes bright and wide. Roll those shoulders up and down. We're gonna find the breath here. Big breath in and out, inhaling, exhaling, dropping the hands, now closing your eyes, continuing to breathe, big breaths into the belly. As you hold that posture, we're gonna find a fruit of the Spirit, Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Tell us that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Just taking a moment to choose one of those fruits to focus on as you work out today, the word says against such things, there is no law. Praising God for the Holy Spirit and for that fruit that freely comes out of us as we hold fast to Jesus and walk by his spirit. Just thanking God for helping you to have more and more of that fruit in him, in Jesus name. Amen. Good. Opening your eyes, continuing that warm up, coming to the front of your mat, feet hip distance apart, toes pointed directly forward, inhaling up, exhaling, coming into seated with Christ. Inhaling up, 
exhaling seated with Christ. You can see my fingertips drawing forward. This time I'm gonna give you an option if it's okay with your shoulders, keep those arms overhead as you drop. Inhaling up, exhaling down. We're gonna do one more, inhaling up, exhaling sitting, good. Inhaling, coming up, exhaling. This time hinging from your hips, over the body into satisfied position. You can bend those knees if you need to here. Stepping back with your left foot, followed by the right. Exhaling into humbled, creating a V with the body. You might not be super warm yet, so again, you might need to bend your knees. I want you to have a straight, long back here. So really lengthening through the torso. You're tucking that tailbone towards the mat, and you can just kind of bicycle through those feet. One heel towards the floor and then the other. Again, keeping length through the spine. If you find tension in your neck, just release that neck, allow it to drop, gaze towards that wall behind you. One more each side. Good, pressing both heels to the floor. Great job. Coming forward with your left foot, we're gonna come up into victorious one. So I want your back toes at about a 45 degree angle. Your front heel is tracking either if you drew a straight line, it'd either be coming to that middle arch or to the heel, somewhere in that general range. As you sink into that front knee, really pressing into that heel behind you as well. So you want equal energy and power coming through both legs, finding length through the spine as you keep and shift that hip forward, arms up, shoulders down, holding here, victorious one. Big breath in, focusing on your fruit of the spirit. Making sure you get those exhales too deeply. Thanking God for Jesus, the victorious one this month as we start this month or whenever you're watching it. Just praising God that he is victorious and when we are him, we are victorious too, more than conquerors. So inhaling, I'm gonna have you open your feet. Now your hips are kind of tracking towards the longer side of your mat. Your back toes are directly facing the long side. Your front toes are staying towards that smaller front side of your mat as you sink into that front leg. Again, you are really still powerfully and actively engaging through both sides. So this back leg is not passive. You're still powerfully engaging it, powerfully pushing as you sink. And when you're ready, again, finding that Mount Zion, arms up, shoulders down, holding strong, victorious too. Big breath in, focusing on your fruit of the spirit and out. You are victorious too as well with Jesus. I want you to Check that front knee as well. If you find it falling in towards that big toe, I want you to open it up to the wall behind you, really engaging those outer thighs, working those legs here, both legs, your booty, your core. One more big breath in here and out. Great job. Shifting your front hand up toward heaven. On an exhale, you're gonna keep your legs where they're at, but you're gonna exhale shifting from the torso, bringing that back hand just gently towards that back leg and the front hand up toward heaven as you keep that bend in the front leg coming into triumphant position. Inhaling, focusing on your fruit of the spirit. Back leg is strong, powerful. Exhaling, allowing the shoulders to drop away from the ears, but keeping that powerful, strong core, lower belly, strong, engaged pelvis, inhaling and exhaling, good. Releasing, you're gonna shift to the front of your mat, stepping forward, our Transitional Sun Series, left foot comes in for a low version of the cross. Separating the feet, exhaling, hinging from the hips into satisfied, coming back with that left leg followed by the right, exhaling again into humbled or his child. I'm just gonna show you the first version, inhaling forward, right finger empowered, 
You can drop to the knees here as well as your option, but keep that strong straight body from either knees to the crown of the head or toes. Shifting that weight forward as you bend from the elbows, tickling your sides with those elbows down to the floor for strengthened. Lengthening through the crown of the head, keeping the tops of the feet on the floor as you lift with the back muscles, not the hands, for loved position. Straightening the spine, pressing back knees or feet into empowered and humbled or his child. I'm gonna come forward with that left foot followed by the right all the way back up seated with christ great job stepping back again with your right foot we're going to come into protected position and then change sides so our toes are at about a 45 degree angle kind of coming out towards the corners of our mat we're going to sink into those legs here finding protected position so again keeping length through the spine again being mindful of those knees I don't want them spilling forward. I want you to open them to the wall behind you. But as you keep your hands on your hips here in protective, protected position, we're gonna try that, okay? So releasing, kind of doing the wrong posture, letting the knees come in. Exhale, opening, woo, to the wall behind you. You might need to grab onto something. Inhaling forward, <laughs> exhaling back. It's hard sometimes to do the wrong thing. <laughs> Thank God. Inhaling forward, exhaling as you draw back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back one more. Inhaling forward, exhaling back, good. Whew. Shaking those legs out. And then you're gonna shift into victorious one on this other side. So back toes are at that 45, front toes towards the front, sinking into that new front leg as you again powerfully press energy and power through both legs. So really pressing through the back heel as well. You can try this at home later and push it up against the wall just to feel yourself putting power through that side as well. Sinking, arms up, shoulders down, holding here that front lower belly, strong and firm, victorious one. Big breath in, focusing on your fruit of the spirit and out. Just asking God today to show you his victory. Where is Jesus victorious? In the word, in your life, asking him to highlight those things to you because he did that to set you free so that you can be victorious too. So let's come into victorious too. Back toes facing that long side of the mat, front toes towards the front. Again, keeping power, almost feeling like you're ripping the mat apart with both legs as you sink into that front leg, length through the spine, that Mount Zion, arms up, shoulders down as you gaze towards those front bright fingers. Remember that kind of top knot 80s ponytail as I lift you, lengthen you up toward heaven and then gently keep that neck or that back of the skull pulling back in an alignment with the spine, holding and breathing here in Victorious too. Praising God for Jesus' victory is your victory. The word also says that if we know we have victory with him, part of it is through suffering with him as well. So suffering is a very real part of this Christian walk. I want you to turn that hand up, exhaling, coming into triumphant position on this other side, shoulders down the back and away from the ears on an exhale. That back hand is just gently falling. It is not placing pressure or weight on that back foot, holding and breathing here in triumphant. Praising God, we are more than a conquerors triumphant in these difficulties that we face because Paul said nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Great job, releasing. I'm gonna shift those toes forward. Inhaling, raising those hands above the head. Exhaling forward over the legs, keeping those knees soft, bending them if you need to as you come to the ground for a wide-legged version of satisfied, holding and breathing, just feeling that great stretch through the back of the legs. We're only gonna do one more breath here in and out. Good. Bending the knees, hands to the thighs as you round up. 
We're going to shift back to Victorious II here in the front. And we're just going to flow between this and Triumphant a few times on each side. I'm running out of time, so I want to be quick with you. Arms up, shoulders down, sinking into that front leg. That front hand comes up toward heaven. On an exhale, you are coming up into Triumphant. Inhaling, fingertips coming forward. Exhaling, coming up into Triumphant. Inhaling forward, exhaling up. Inhaling, coming back, victorious two. Exhaling up. One more here. And out, good. Switching with the feet to the other side again. Toes facing that long side and then the short side with that other toe. Sink in, arms up, shoulders down. Opening up that front hand toward heaven to find victorious two first. Exhaling, coming into triumphant. Inhaling, hands come back to center. Exhaling up, and right now as you do this, I just want you to take whatever concerns or cares that you have, pretend even like they're in that front hand, and exhaling, you're casting them onto God, casting your concerns on Him because He cares for you. Peter says you can give Him those things. Praising Him, you're more than a conqueror. Inhaling center, your movement's coming from your obliques, your core here, whittling that middle as you just send those burdens, those cares on God. Last one, releasing, shifting to the front of the mat, coming into our transitional series on that other side. Your right foot comes in for the cross, separating the feet, inhaling up. Exhaling forward into satisfied, bending the knees if you need to. Coming back with that right foot, followed by the left. Exhaling into humbled. Inhaling, bright finger empowered. Shifting that weight, firm body as you come down. Strengthened, lengthening through the crown of the head and lifting for loved. Straightening the spine, pressing back into the hands. Empowered, exhaling back into his child. And I am just going to have you hold here in his child. I am going to say goodbye to you here. But I want you to spend some time here with God in his child for rest and praise, thanking him for taking those burdens, just sending him any prayers, frustrations, thanking him for his victory in Christ, that transitional sun series representing his victory over death. So you can celebrate. He's beat sin and death. He is for you forever. So send those burdens to him. Talk to him about them and allow him, your father God, to just settle your soul today for as long as you can. Stay here and I'll see you again soon. Bye.